when they read the rules, and the plain reading of the rule, it says you can't have a substantial adverse impact. And the EIS says that TMT has a substantial adverse impact. And yet you allowed it to happen. It's hard for them to s believe in a rule of law. And I just have to say, when you look at these temporary rules, C1 and C2, that would bar public access, I'd like you to take a moment, step back, and imagine Instead of a telescope being built on a distant mountain, actually the controversy at the, at the heart here would be a luxury subdivision on the shoreline or a federal highway over a reef. And instead of native Hawaiians standing in front of you with tea leaves and backpacks, you have surfers with their long hair and their surfboards. And would you seriously consider barring public access to the shoreline to surfers and other ocean users in order to make the luxury home developer feel more comfortable and then just tear up the shoreline while there's litigation going on? I don't think that you would. And so I'm urging you here today to not do that in this case. Instead, tell the TMT to hold its horses until the Supreme Court issues its ruling. Thank you. Thank you.